hello everyone welcome back this episode here i'm gonna f do a comparison at least an initial comparison with the uh, cert bolt and then the <laughs> blackbeard let me see which one's which uh yeah blackbeard the blackbeard here um got two I'm actually going to get a third one. I'll tell you why in a little bit. But before uh, I begin the comparison between the two uh, laser bolt system, um, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and leave comments. Every time I make a video about the CERT bolt or the Blackbeard bolt, um, YouTube demonetizes or limits my video. And so uh, really appreciate if you... Uh, liked and shared and left some comments and so again this video i'm going to compare the two laser bolt systems for your rifle here now uh, before i begin i've done other videos you've probably seen the 10,000 round video on the uh, blackbeard the mantis blackbeard and my 10,000 round video on the cert and I kind of give you a little bit more information on that. So check those videos out. So in this comparison, um, I'm going to compare them. And I, first of all, I want to let you know that I'm having issues with both of these laser bolt systems. Matter of fact, this one here, the replacement that I did a video on the 10,000 round works. It worked really great. <laughs> it worked really great, but... I don't know if you can hear that. Something's loose and shaking here, and the uh, the resetting trigger, the resetting trigger also uh, is in the down position. Versus, you can see this is in a up position. This is this is up. This is down. You can see. See, it's up. Anyways. Both the resetting triggers on these stop working, and so I'm going to get a third one. So, um, anyways, uh, this has uh, been a been a, a challenge. But let me just compare them. If you are considering getting a laser bolt system for your rifle, because um, I think there are some good uses. This still works, but the issue I'm having with this is that the trigger gets very sticky. At first, it was very easy to use, and then the trigger started getting very sticky, and I couldn't find anything wrong with the trigger itself. So this is the cert, and I'm going to show you the issue I've been having with the uh, trigger. If you go pretty fast, okay, if you go pretty fast, not an issue, you know, but after a while you start using this, what happens is, if you could hear it, it gets very sticky. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. If it's the uh, actual cert causing the, the I don't know what, what to call it, uh, stickiness. After a while, uh, if you do this a lot, it just gets sticky all the time. And so if you see my other video, the 10,000 round test on the CERT, that kind of explains what I think is going on. And that's the issue with the CERT. Yeah, look at that. Sometimes uh, it just gets stuck. I mean, I pull this trigger and, uh, but you could hear the sound. The reason for it being sticky, um, because I did dry fire without the bolt, the laser bolt in it, and uh, the trigger works just fine. But when I put this back in, it gets sticky again. And I think it has to do with the pin rod going in this hole, and it's just rubbing or creating some resistance going in here it's rubbing the, the the pin the pin is rubbing against an edge or part of this plastic area or something inside that 
causes the trigger to get really sticky. So I couldn't complete the 10,000 round test on this. Of course, you've seen the video on that, but it still works. Um, I'm going to talk to Next Level Training. Um, I was thinking about replacing it, but after my Mantis broke <laughs> again, the resetting trigger stopped working on this. The resetting trigger stopped working on this. I'm going to get a third replacement. It's hard to... I really like the Blackbeard Mantis, but it's hard to recommend when... I, 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 I think when... I think that it's only a matter of time before the resetting trigger, the resetting part of it, the auto resetting trigger part of it is going to stop working on you. It's going to just stop. It's going to go kaput. So um, let me just talk about the, the benefits of each and the cons of each. So I'll start with the cert. I am talking, um, I'm in, I'm emailing back and forth. Uh, I might just request a replacement part instead of returning it because it still technically works. It's just that the trigger is so hard to, to uh, pull sometimes. It's, it's so weird. And when I take the bolt out, the trigger works fine. So there's something going on with the, the, the trigger pin and this bolt, this laser bolt here. So first of all, I wanna let you know I'm a heavy user I think for most people who use, who pull the trigger, who want to pull the trigger, maybe like a um, hundred times, maybe two hundred times per session, I think both of these systems will work. But if you're a heavy user like me, uh, you're probably not going to be very satisfied with either system if you've gone through my experience. Auto resetting trigger doesn't work. The trigger gets very s stiff and uh, sticky with the cert. So, but anyways, let me let me go over the benefits. Okay, so the benefit of this is that it's cheaper than the Blackbeard. It's um, relatively easy, relatively easy to set up. Um, you'll get these little. Uh, I forgot what you call them, these O-rings that, that you could put in. Um, centering this, getting this adjusted is easy, very simple. And uh, depending on which one you get, it's a lower cost. I got the red laser, which is a lower cost. And uh, you get in a faster lead time. At least that was my experience with it at the time when I ordered it. If you're a casual user, um, this cert will work for you battery replacements back here you just drop it in um, there might be some issues on how you set up the trigger pin but it's relatively easy it's not that hard but it's something you have to kind of insert into your into your uh, trigger well but um, overall for the casual user who wants to just get some uh, trigger pulls you know uh, this will work just fine now the cons the cons for the cert is that it you don't get that trigger feeling. Uh, the trigger pull is artificial. Uh, you're basically is you're just pulling on the um, the disconnector is just moving up and down is basically what's going on and it's pushing the uh, the pin into this hole here, activating the laser, and that's kind of more or less what it's doing. So it doesn't reset, but and and the trigger pull is um, not natural it's not natural at all it's it's like i said it's very artificial but if like i said if you want a laser system and you're using a uh some kind of laser targeting app i target i pro um laser hit g site whatever any of those free laser targeting apps this will work just fine this will work just fine for your application So um, I, I do notice that it's, it is a little flimsy. You can see that this moves. Maybe it's by design. But anyways, so th there's the con for this. This It's a very unnatural trigger. 
Now let me move on to <laughs> the, the Blackbeard Mantis Blackbeard system. Oh goodness. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the pros. Let me. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter e either one. The pros of uh, of this. Um, you don't have to mess with your trigger. You literally just plop it in where your bolt goes. So you take your charging handle, you take your bolt, your bolt carrier group out, and you just put this into your, you know, rifle. And uh, there you go. You're done. And assuming that this is, assuming that this is centered, okay, <laughs> assuming that this is centered and everything's all right, and it's easy to adjust, uh, you probably don't even have to adjust it to be honest with you, you just put it in, you start pulling the trigger and the auto resetting trigger starts. And here's the battery. It goes into your magazine well. Um, you may not be able to do magazine reloads, but I don't do magazine reloads. I just want to pull the trigger and, uh, you know, get some trigger time. So that's the pro about this. The other thing is that because of the auto resetting trigger, it uh, the trigger feels very natural, very real. I did a 10,000 round trigger pull test on this. It did pass 10,000 rounds or 10,000 trigger pulls. It, for some reason, after that, it stopped working. You can see. I'll show you. Um, my see. Oh, there. Okay. So you see the laser. You see the laser come out. There, you see the laser come out, but you don't see it reset. The trigger is not resetting. Yeah, trigger is not resetting. So unfortunately, um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So I've I've had. So the so the pros are that this theoretically is a better system when it works. That's the key word. When you see you can hear that. See there's something shaking in there. Uh, when it doesn't work, it's just a piece of junk. So I've had two two failures with the mantis the mantis uh, blackbeard here. Two failures. They're gonna send me a third one. Uh, at this rate I think I'm just gonna have like a house full of <laughs> unusable blackbeard mantis um, systems here. So the the con, all right, the con, I'm going to go into the con. There's a lot of pros about this when it works. The con, all right, the con on this is that I, it's just prone to failure, all right? I'm literally on my second one. Now, this one originally that I got, as you can see here, the screw here wasn't, was stripped, and I it, I can't, I couldn't get the laser to come out of the barrel straight. So that was my first issue. But it also, this one also, okay, you can see the laser. You probably saw the laser come out. There you go, laser. So its circuit is working in here. But the auto resetting trigger stopped working on this one too. So that's that was my first one. All right. Here's the second one. The auto resetting trigger also stopped working on this for a different reason. Like, I hear something shaking back here. This one, there's no shaking. It's solid. It just it just stopped working. So there, the Blackbeard Mantises are prone to failure for some reason. Anyways, um, supposedly it's a two-year warranty. I don't know what the warranty on this is. Um, anyways, if you're a casual user, all right, if you're a casual user, I think both of these will work. If you're a heavy user, you would either one of these are not really as of, as of today. I'll do an update later, but either one of these are not really suitable because I've had both of these for less than 30 days when it doesn't, and then it stops working on me or I'm having issues. Uh, the the cert the issue is the trigger pulls unnatural and now the trigger is very sticky, very hard. Sometimes even I can't even pull it. That's how weird it is. It's something I don't know what it is. So that's the only drawback. But it still works. All right. 
but it's not really accurate or it's not really um, realistic to a trigger pull. These give great trigger pulls. They reset, they reset the trigger. All right, they reset the trigger. It's fantastic when it works. You can. What I like about the Blackbeard is that you can increase your trigger speed, your trigger, your trigger pull, your trigger speed. It really helps you with this. This is very unnatural when you when you pull the trigger. Um, I don't think it really helps. This may help like trigger control to put your finger on the trigger, then slowly pull to get a trigger control. Same thing with this, but this you you can never. I don't think you honestly can ever get a increase your trigger finger your trigger finger speed on this. It's just an un, 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 unnatural trigger feeling. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. Um, it's It's been a struggle to find a laser dry firing system for like my AR-15, my my rifle. And um, it's, it's just been really struggling. I thought this was it, but it's not quite. This is the closest thing to the best system I think there is but it just keeps failing. That's the issue with this. I don't know what it is. The parts, poor quality, um, manufacturing issues, um, durability. I don't know what it is. Uh, if I'm a beta tester, then I'm, pro I'm probably uh, Mantis X um, worst beta tester there is or the best beta tester there is because um, I've gone, I'm going to get a third one here. I'm going to go through, I'm going to get a third one. I have a feeling I'm going to, I'm probably going to use their two year warranty for the full two years on this. So anyways, both these systems for the heavy user, for the maybe competition user, I don't know if I could recommend, I think for the casual user who wants to get some trigger time because you can't go to the range, you can't find your ammo. You, you probably, it, it, this will probably work for you. Okay, but if you're a heavy user, you're heavy into training and you don't want to waste your ammo and going out to the range is prohibitive or you're in lockdown or whatever. Um, you can use this, but I guarantee I'm pretty sure if <laughs> you're going to run into some of the same issues I've been having. Trigger gets very sticky for some reason. The trigger is unnatural. Uh, the resetting trigger stops working. But either way, the both of these systems work for what it does when they work. But when they don't work, it's not very useful to, to you. Anyways, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, everyone, bye-bye.